Okay, let's take a look at this differential analysis that involves the decision of whether we should um, uh, do some further processing. And this is problem 24-4b. The management of Pittsburgh Aluminum Company is considering whether to process aluminum ingot further into rolled aluminum. Rolled aluminum can be sold for, what is that, $1,650 per ton, and ingot can be sold without further processing for $980 per ton. Ingot is produced in batches of 60 tons by smelting 400 tons of bauxite, and I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that correctly or not, which cost $450 per ton. Rolled aluminum will, will require additional processing cost of $415 per ton of ingot, and 1.2 tons of ingot will produce one ton of rolled aluminum. Okay, so with that information, we need to prepare a report as of December 20th presenting the differential analysis to figure out whether we should uh, further process the aluminum into rolled aluminum. All right, so first thing we need to consider is the differential revenues. And uh, one thing that they've told us here, I'll indent this in a minute, is that we can compute the revenue from sale of rolled aluminum. And um, somewhere in here they've told us we've got... 60 tons, uh, where's our, there it is, rolled aluminum can be sold for 1650 per ton, sold by, is produced in batches of 60 weighing 400 tons, rolled aluminum will require additional processing, there we go, of 415 per ton and 1 .ton, 1 1.2 tons of ingot will produce 1 ton of rolled aluminum. So what we need to do is figure out what's the revenue from the sale of ro rolled aluminum. And what we can do is take the 60 tons, um, let me, I'm just going to use 60 here, divided by 1.2 is the tons of ingot will produce one roll of aluminum. So we can c determine what the cost is per roll of aluminum and we do it in 60 ton batches. Once we have that, we multiply it times the cost, which is 1650 per ton. Okay, now I'll move that out of the way. You can see my formula to the left of the mouse here, or you can look up here. So it's 60 tons divided by 1.2, which is the conversion factor to get it into um, uh, one ton of rolled aluminum times price of 1650. Okay, and that comes up with 82,500. 82,500. We'll put a dollar sign on that. Okay. And then I want to indent this. Then we also need to, uh, let me indent here too, as I start to type. We need to determine what's the revenue from the sale of the aluminum ingot. And this is simply the 60 tons times whatever price it can be sold for. And that they give in the problem as 980. Okay, so we've got one, one revenue versus the other. I'm going to just uh, underline and compute what that difference is. Okay, so right there is our 23,700 is the differential revenue of uh, going on with the further processing. Okay, then we need to consider the differential costs. I'll format these a little bit so it'll indent. And what we need to consider is the additional cost of processing the rolled aluminum, right? Aluminum. There we go. Typed it correctly. Get that indented correctly so that we can see that. And that incremental cost will be equal to the 60 tons times, I think they told us 415. Yeah, 415 per ton. To further process, so we've got a cost of twenty-four thousand nine hundred, and really, I'm just going to put this right here because that's enough to tell to for us to calculate the uh, differential gain or loss. So I'm going to say differential um, gain. Put parentheses if it's negative or loss from further processing aluminum ingot, right per batch. This is all done on a batch basis.
So we underline this, and obviously you can see we're in a loss position. We have an incre increased revenue of 23.7, but increased processing cost of 24.9. So what we're looking at is uh, an extra $1,200 loss per batch. And so what that tells us is how we answer number two, which is they shouldn't for the process aluminum because doing so uh, just increases their costs at a greater rate than it increases their revenue. So profits would decrease overall by $1,200. So instead, they're better off not uh, processing and just selling, uh, selling the aluminum ingot just as it is. And that's all that's required on this problem. Thanks, everyone.